you're, when you say that you're sorry, when you say that you forgive people, when you forgive enemies, when you forgive devil worshippers, when you forgive these evil people, what you're doing is you're bringing attention to them. The Heavenly Father ignores those demon worshippers, but when you forgive them, you're bringing attention to them, and then when he sees how evil they are, he not only does not forgive them, but he kills them. They'll pay for eligible groceries, utilities, rent, pet care, and over-the-counter items. So this is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. Recording by... You're casting spells, but you know, in Christianity we call it prayers. But it's really no different than witchcraft. These death psalms and all the psalms in the Bible. But the Bible is basically a big book of witchcraft spells. Is really what it is. The difference between witchcraft and Christianity is only one thing, the source of the power. With the witchcraft, the source of power is with the devil and other demons and fallen angels that disguise themselves as good creatures, which they are not. With Christianity, the source of power comes from the only entity that has any power, the all-powerful Yahuwah, which is the creator, the creator of everything, the creator of the universe. He is the universe. Uni, one, verse, word, one word. He is the one word. Who's the word of God? Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right? Yahushua, Yahushua, he says, I'm the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God. The word is the universe. Uni, one, verse, word, one word. The universe is one word. See, the Freemasons, when they named the universe a universe, they knew what they were talking about. They just choose not to believe in it. They choose not to worship it. Okay? You don't need to understand the numbers or numerology or gematria or any of that crap they do because they don't obey Yahuwah. They don't obey the Creator. You don't need to do any of that. Neither do I. He knows everything because He created everything. He knows all the gematria, he knows all the numerical codes, he knows all of that. You have to be obedient, family. You have to obey him. Obey his commandments. The Ten Commandments, start with that. And once you get those, then start following his dietary laws and, and the other stuff. Okay? But, uh, yeah, j just, uh, Jesus Christ overcame the law, but you still have to obey his commandments. You still have to obey the commandments, okay? It's just that you're living under the grace, and that if you break the commandments, you're not going to go to hell. Whereas before, before Jesus Christ came, came in the flesh, when you broke the commandments, you did suffer the potential of maybe going, on, going to hell, having hellfire upon you. You know, like David, he didn't have Christ yet, and he killed Uriah the Hittite, so that he could take Uriah the Hittite's wife and do his concubine, right? Moses killed the guy, right? So they, they all committed grievous sins. Did they go to hell? Of course not. But there is no Christ to save them. Why? Because the grace of the Most High Power is more powerful than His laws. He wants you to obey His laws, but He wants you to believe in His grace more. Okay? And so when people are picking on you, or people are trying to fuck with your head, I apologize for the, for the curse words. Okay? But you have to understand for the type of audience that I have here, I have to speak in the language that they speak, and they use a lot of curse words. Okay? So I have to speak the language I speak, so number one, I don't appear self-righteous, okay? And so that I don't uh, uh, appear as, uh, you know, holier than thou, so to speak, okay? So you have to be willing to speak in the language that, that, your, that people can understand, that your followers can understand, okay? And so when people are screwing with your mind or people, because that, that's all that the devil tries to do and his children are the same thing, which is the CIA, and which is, uh, the CIA is a completely corrupt and evil satanic institution and I think everyone is aware of that by now. They go to other nations and, and overthrow those nations and, and uh, kill the pe whoever's leading those nations and, <laughs> and then insert some puppet, some muppet, some guy that's going to take their bribes, take America's bribes, and, and then exploit their own citizens, his or her own citizens for our benefit, which is this so wrong and so grotesquely evil, 
on so many levels and brings curses to the entire populace of America, which is why you're seeing America becoming destroyed. You're seeing the economy of America be destroyed, the moral fiber of America be destroyed. Everybody's miserable. Everybody's in a bad mood. I'm not, but um, but I have. But you know, I don't live by the standards of a typical American, where they live by standards of just having to do with sonic materialism. They don't care about anything else, and then they wonder later why their son and daughter committed suicide. You know, before they turn 21, they wonder why they're popping pills all the time and why their wife or their husband's nothing but a drunk. And you, 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 you brought curses upon yourself, so now you're going to have to live with those curses because you turned your back on God. And, and even worse than that, you're supporting an institution with the CIA and the FBI that are out there making enemies and villains out of innocent people just to do it. These are cursed institutions. Okay? So these are death psalms so that you have FBI agents, special agents to do the officers pursuing you, a CIA guys pursuing you. You say these prayers every single day. I say them on the hour, every hour, every day. You'll watch them die. They will die because you're putting the everlasting curse upon them and it goes to the third and fourth generation. So even after they die, they have children. Those children are going to be cursed. And their children's children is going to be cursed at three generations. And their children's grandchildren will be cursed. So these death songs go three, four generations deep in affliction, afflicting them because the Heavenly Father can't stand people like that. They go and cause trouble for, for evil purposes. They go and, 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 and uh, pursue innocent good people such as myself and such as you guys out there you guys and girls and, and go just try to terrorize you and cause harm in your life and just constantly screw them with your mind uh, just for evil purposes because you can see through their lies and they don't like that there's nothing that God hates worse than a liar that, that, that is the, the liar and a coward are the two kinds of people that God hates more than anyone else he does he hates liars and cowards Okay, and so in other words, as long as you don't believe their lies and as long as you are not fearful or intimidated by them, they can do nothing to you. The devil can do nothing to you as long as you don't believe their BS. As long as you don't believe their lies, they can't do anything to you. So as long as you don't believe their lies, number one, and number two, don't be afraid of them. They're going to try to use things to try to screw with your mind by way of deceiving you in some way and then by trying to instill some kind of fear of intimidation into you. Don't be fearful of these creatures at all, okay? I'm going to teach you how to kill them with, with just by using death psalms, by using prayers. Here we go. First of all, you say an Our Father before you begin the death psalms, and then you say Our Father afterwards. Why? To protect yourself. To protect your mind, your soul, your body, and your spirit, because you're opening a time-space portal, a vortex, a wormhole, a stargate into the spirit world. And you're going to literally grab hundreds of thousands of demons and hurl them at these people. Okay, and you don't need to name who. Okay? Your guardian angels are the ones that are going to tell those demons who to attack. Okay? And your guardian angels, of course, are sinless. They're flawless. They came from the Heavenly Father. They're there to protect you. So your guardian angels will take the death psalm, send it to the Heavenly Father, who will command the Heavenly Father to command the guardian angels to command the demons to go attack and kill those people that do not like you and are engaged in conspiracies against you. And you keep praying these things until there's no one left on the earth except us. Okay? Every day. Here we go. Our Father, and then you say, and Our Father afterwards to close that space-time portal. So you keep yourself safe. Our Father, Yahuwah, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As we too forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Now here's the three death psalms. Here we go. All right, get ready. And this is stuff is pretty hardcore. This is not for the faint of heart, but you need to know these things. You need to have a memorizer. You can say them, and you can use this as a spiritual tactic. You can't get arrested for it. You can't be oppressed. Nothing can happen to you because the, 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 the people that try to pr prosecute in the court of law, they'll be thrown out of court and they'll be laughing at them and say that those people are delusional. You know, a guy's just praying and just saying a bunch of words. How'd that person die just from words? You see? So you use that against them. Here we go. In my distress, I cried unto Yahuwah, Yahushua, Yahuwah, and he heard me. Deliver my soul, O Yahuwah, from lying lips and deceitful tongues.